Did you know that every time you flip on a TV or a radio to a static station, you're seeing or hearing remnants from the Big Bang? Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But about 1% of that static is actually coming from something called cosmic microwave background radiation. Without trying to explain the Big Bang in full, about 400,000 years after it began, long before planets and stars formed, the universe was filled with a gas of protons, electrons, and photons. Now normally, electrons having negative charge and protons having positive charge tend to get together to create hydrogen atoms. But at this point in time, the universe was extremely hot. Hot like the surface of the sun, which is thousands of degrees. And at these temperatures, their kinetic energy is so high, they couldn't come together to form hydrogen. Instead, it becomes a state of matter known as electron ion plasma. What's so special about plasma? Well, for one, it's opaque. In other words, the other component in the universe we talked about, photons or light, can't pass through it. Instead, the light gets tripped up by the plasma and doesn't travel very far at all. Over time, as the universe expanded, all the plasma that filled up its space began to cool. As it cooled, it reached a point at which the electrons and protons could unite to form hydrogen, which is electrically neutral. This caused the universe to become transparent. Suddenly, the photons, unobstructed, could travel freely through space. At that time, most of these photons were within the visible light spectrum. But over the past 10 billion years or so, they got stretched out enormously due to the universe expanding. These photons have been propagating through the universe ever since the Big Bang, as a very cold and diffuse photon gas in the microwave band. And it just so happens that antennas for older televisions and radio are sensitive to microwave frequencies. So when you see or hear that noise, while much of it is radiation from things like the sun, soil, or electronics, some of it is literally a part of the light of creation itself, here since the beginning of time. And while you may not be able to specifically differentiate it, you can see it and hear it with your very own eyes and ears. Light as old as time.